Yo, what's up? KZ Guy 2 here, no nonsense, no how. It's got to go time on Saturday, so I'm going to really rush through this, but here we go, real quick. Got a 2012 Ford Fusion, and the blower fan does not work, whether it's on the hot or cold. This has the auto climate control, uh, <clears throat> and no matter what auto, or you turn this fan up and down, fan don't work no matter what. So let's get to the bottom of it. All right, now I've already done my diagnosing here, but I'm gonna still run you through with that real quick. But just to show you, the most common problems with these are the pigtail that goes to the blower resistor. Gets melted in there, so I've already got my new parts here. If you wanna purchase these, check them out. I'll put a link down below for the pigtail and the resistor. The second most common way these, these fans don't work is the blower itself goes bad. So let's run through some diag. I got my wiring diagram, we'll go right back to that. All right, so to do my quick checks, I got my power probe hooked up to the battery. If you don't already have a power probe, I highly suggest getting one. I'll also put a link in there for one of those on Amazon, but I'm not going to go into it right now, but check them out. These things are just great to have if you're working on cars all the time. All right, now the first place I always like to come when checking the blower is checking the blower fan itself. So I've got my ignition on, I've got the blower on high there, and I'm going to use a, a T-pin right here. And I'm just going to slide this in on the back side. I should have 12 volts on this connector on the yellow wire at all times. I'm not piercing the wire, just kind of back probing it. So let's take our power probe. Boom, we got 12.4 volts there. You can't see the screen, sorry about that. Now I'm going to slide it in the gray wire behind there. And I should have a ground if everything's working properly. Alright, I got nothing on my power probe, that's just a dead wire. Now let's see what happens if I apply a ground to it. Look at that, fan comes on. So the fan's good. Now, let's go ahead and pop this connector off here. Good time to check that out too. All right, looks good. Now, if you just did those steps, applying 12 volts and your fan didn't go on, then you could bet you got a bad fan. So, it's a series of, looks like three or four bolts. Um, looks like uh, 7 30 seconds and 5.5 millimeter fit those to get that out. I don't need to hold your hand how to take that fan out, and mine's not bad, but you can see, uh, very easy. Again, I'll put a link in the description if you need one. So then I came over to the blower resistor right here, pulled down on this, and squeezed this tab off. It was pretty tough getting off, and boom, we have a melted connector there. So this black wire coming in is your main ground. A lot of electricity flowing through there, a lot of electrons, and you know, these are just really too small for how much uh, this current, how much current this thing draws. So we're gonna need a pigtail, and we're also gonna replace this, because you know, it gets melted up inside there too. And it's going to be the same thing, 5.5 millimeter or 7.30 seconds bolt to get that off. Once you take that one bolt out, you can just pop this down, slide it toward the outside of the car a little bit, and boom. Because you got those two tabs right there that lock into the, the two grooves up there. So make sure when you put that back in, it goes the same way. Quick note here and a reason to use a Ford Motor Company one instead. I'll try and find a link for that too, but I had to widen this hole right here. When I was putting the aftermarket one in, I couldn't get those grooves to stay lined up in there. So I had to widen it and I barely got them lined up in there, but now it's in there nice and firm and good. Uh, so again, I had to widen this hole going that way, lengthen it, whatever you want to call it. <sighs> Pretty annoying. And now for the slightly more tedious part, replacing the pigtail. I'm not going to show you exactly how I do it because, like I said, it's got to go time. But I'm going to use a razor blade to cut back this uh, <clears throat> tape on here and make sure not to cut the wires too badly or anything. Get that all exposed. And I'm probably going to mark each wire on here so I make sure I don't get them crossed. Make sure you do one at a time, cut one at a time, don't mix these up because then you're going to be in trouble. Then uh, I'm going to use a pair of wire strippers like this, a pair of crimpers for using this right here to crimp the, <clears throat> the new ones on there. And then I got some heat shrink tubing and I'll retape everything back up. Uh, again, everybody has their own way of doing things. If you need a video on that, you know, look up how to splice in a new pigtail. It's, it's pretty universal. All right, so I think I've showed you everything you need to know to do this repair. Sorry if I let you, left you hanging at all. Uh, let's go back here though. If you don't have 12 volts on this yellow wire, then you're going to want to check your fuses in your fuse box. Sorry, this printout's really, really blurry and such. But you have a blower relay, um, and then you have another fuse up here. Uh, of course, you got your, I guess this is the control head, and blower motors right here, and this is your blower resistor. So again, the problem we had is this black wire, this ground coming in, was not making good contact in there. So one other quick fix you could have done is you could have got a wire brush and cleaned this up a bunch, uh, clean that connector in there too on the old one, plug this back in and it probably would have worked just fine. So, <clears throat> you know, depending on how much time you have and money, uh, that's an option. 
All right, now I'm going to make my repair and leave you hanging here. I'm sorry about that, but <clears throat> I hope I give you enough information to help you out. This is more geared toward your experienced DIYers, you know, somebody who, who knows how to do things and just wanted to give you some insight how easy this really is to work on so you don't have to feel overwhelmed. This is a very common problem. Hopefully the video helps. You got the parts down there below if you need them. Give the video a thumbs up. Consider checking out my channel. Definitely appreciate that. Until next time, this is KZ Guy 2 No Nonsense Know How. You have a good day. I'm going to run off to the Yardley Brew Fest once I slam this thing in. I'll see you next time.